Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan the final season episode number 3. Okay, uh the previous episode uh we got to see the like situation in like the Marlian uh camps and all of the like situation with Zeke, Reiner, the amount of like tension that is like in there uh always under the surveillance of the Marlians and the Eldians kind of being used as pawns and uh, like sacrificed because like the so-called Marlians are great and all and they gave them like shelter from like I don't know like whatever and <laughs> all of those stuff and uh, they are constantly under surveillance they are being monitored in like each and every part of their life and yeah and so we got to see like what like we only thought that Aaron and he, like his team had uh, like problems like the, because of the titans and everything that they're facing they are like screwed we thought but it turns out that um, Reiner and his like his teammates are also kind of screwed in a uh, like different kind of way uh, and another thing I remembered like not remembered, but it is a recurring thing that is like freedom like in attack on Titan uh, Aaron always wanted to freedom wanted to see the outside world now looking at the whole picture I can say that Aaron and like all of them Mikasa Armin they have a lot more freedom than Reiner and like uh, the others who are out like on the other side of the sea so turns out that uh, reality is not as Aaron has wished like if Aaron was like on the other side the freedom that he's talking about he wouldn't have got none of it like it's in my opinion it's better in like paradise the like uh, the amount of freedom they get and in like comparing to it to like uh, Marlians uh, that they're giving so yeah like freedom <laughs> like the irony that iron Eden wanted to go uh outside venture the world just to get freedom but turns out uh outside paradise uh things are more screwed up so anyways guys uh without further ado let's get started with episode number three of attack on titan season uh, the final season all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one Go. Wow, what? Okay, I get it. That was Ryan. Oh boy. The amount of like Oh Zeke. Okay, I'll have to talk about something about Zeke later on. Nanny. Oh my god. Oh my god. Isn't it Polko? Orko?
Das wäre toll. What does he do? It? What? The hell? What's that? Oh yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, we similar to Aaron. Like Annie Berthold and um, Reiner, they're kind of like the same uh, group, like Aaron, Annie, and Mik uh, Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin. So yeah, yeah. What I was going to say, like, I don't really know. Like, we have known that Zeke kind of sold out uh, Grisha and Diana and uh like that's why they were captured and taken and like zeke took their grandma and grandfather's like uh like help to do that but one thing i don't get it if properly is that uh his dad and mom wanted him to be like uh, be like them like uh one of those like revolutionaries and like taught him like that and everything they gave a lot of pressure on him like i saw that we get that but I don't, one thing I don't get is why did he like turn them against, like turn against them? Like what was the reason behind it? Did the grandma and grandfather like say something to him? Like where did he get this thing that yeah, my dad and mom are, I should probably like, uh, like report them. Like this thing, where did he get this? Did he like take the decision himself or was it? because someone kind of said something to him which made him change his mind and he thought like nah i should probably report them to the government like that's a big question in me like i really don't understand why did he like do that what was the reason i guess we'll probably get to know when we see zeke's backstory properly oh yeah I Uh, Brown. Oh, Reiner Brown. Okay, I was thinking who's Brown. No, oh, this is Gillard. I'm guessing. What was his name? Mar Marcel, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Art Titan. Oh, it's this girl. Oh, Peek. Peek is a girl, isn't it? Or am I mistaken? Damn. Yeah, Ryan, uh, uh, Berthold was like, the uh, yeah, ace in the hole. Wow, what what a great job they did. And here we go.
<laughs> oh my god. I was thinking his name is something that he would be bullied with. Yeah. Ah, that, I'm sorry. That, the dad? Ah, uh, I doubt he remembers. These type of people are like, one of those. Uh, what? Why? Ugh. <sighs> And then you may got them. Oh, the other guy. He was eaten. I was thinking, okay. Okay, I also get another thing. Why Reiner is so heated up all this? Like because of the treatment he got, like without dad and everything. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Uh, and you may got him. Oh, what the? I even got a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Uh 
<sighs> oh. And then this happened. There. Oh, Dana was here. Oh yeah, he was. She was here. Uh, I forgot. Uh, she ate uh, Darren's mom. Oh, and he was uh, knocked out at that time. And there is Erin and and his like split personality kind of like. Like became here, like he. Oh, Danny. Wait. Wait, 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 Kenny was, and his da dad? Huh? One thing I have to say, I did not see the OVAs of Attack on Titan. So I'm not sure if they already said this, but. Wait.
Oh, it was that guy. On the conflict that, yeah, he is remembering his past self. Wait, he, he tried to kill him? But where did I hear this voice? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, but... Is this Aaron? But... Voice? Oh no, how can this be and what the hell am I saying? Yeah, it isn't like <laughs> forget it. The voice was really Yet another hell. <laughs> the, this is Aaron, isn't it? Wait, wait, what? Wait, or am I mistaking again? Who was the guy in the end? Like his, I'll have to like look at Aaron's picture. Like it has been quite a long time I've seen Aaron. I don't even remember how what his eyes color were, or how he looked. I'll have to look at. Because I don't know why, but his voice really sounded like Aaron's voice. That's why I thought that maybe this is Aaron. But why is if if this is Aaron, then why is he doing? What is he doing in uh, here? And his we saw that there's no leg and everything. I don't know. I, I, like this is one show that I'm really like I struggle to understand a few parts. Because it's so complicated and so like, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll check that portion again. Like I have to see.
like <laughs> like yeah thinking about it like Reiner looks a lot like adult now like a lot older so if Ern has also like aged he would kind of look like that so I'm not sure if that is Eren or someone someone else who looks like him but it wouldn't really surprise me if that really turned out to be Eren but the question is how did he get here why what is he even doing here and I don't know like let's see uh, let me just check that portion again just a sec here it is Um, yeah, something pushes them onward and they all walk into hell anyway. Usually that something isn't their own will. Conditions and people around them leave them with no choice. People who push themselves onward see a different sort of hell. They're looking at something past that hell. It might be hope or it might be yet another hell. Only the people who keep moving forward can know. Okay, <laughs> this, like the thing that this said that I like quoted now, that really sounds as if something Aaron would say. Like that is what he did. Like he always looked forward, he went forward, he pushed forward. Uh, like it was, who knows if it was his will or looking at the people surrounding him. He got that will and he pushed and pushed and he was seeing something something beyond that hell something beyond maybe it is hope or another hell as he said hope being that uh, the freedom that he wanted so much from titans he got that and then he came to a situation where he like saw the sea and understood that nah they're not free there is a whole world out there which is out to like hunt them down and <clears throat> um excuse me and so as it as he's saying like he was looking at the hope but it turns out it was not hope it was another hell he was looking to uh, beyond the hell that he came out from so that really sounds like something Aaron would say that Aaron like um uh, like experienced and the face this is Aaron the eyes and everything this is Aaron. I'm. I'm not sure. If I'm. I'm wrong. Then I don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> I'm. Then I'm kind of. I think I'm making a fool out of myself. If I'm really wrong, and this turns out not to be Aaron. But I don't know why. But I. I think this is Aaron. Like, I can barely see his face, but I can see the resemblance. <coughs> if Aaron grows up, he would probably look like this. Like, yeah. Uh, the like the eye, especially the eyes and the, <laughs> the like shading in the eyes yeah the i don't know like who knows and he said something about being faking amnesia and all and I, and i see that reiner is also like looking at them now was looking at the guy uh, uh at falco and he said like he tried to kill himself reiner but looking at falco he thought that nah i should not do this Okay, enough about Eren. Uh, let's talk about the other things in this show, uh, in this episode. All right, so we get like I understood what was uh, okay. A lot of things to talk about. Number one, um, we got the real uh, back kind of backstory of uh, Reiner, and where we see uh, Marcel. Like we knew that a guy was eaten from his um, like team, and turns out that turns out to be Marcel and uh like it turns out that his brother he whom he wanted to protect that's why he said like uh, he was apologizing and when he apologized first i thought maybe he was apologizing because he thought that uh rhino was really not like worthy of it so it was kind of like an apology for that but turns out uh it kind of is the reason but at the same time he was apologizing because he like made his brother look bad in front of the superiors and uh, made Reiner look good so that his brother does not get in this uh, like whole situation 
he was trying to save his brother which also like uh, brings up another thing another fact that is Reiner was not as good as he was which I think kind of shocked Reiner in the later part he was shocked he that also kind of like brought down his self-confidence and he started freaking out when after Marcel died he said something about like dancers are going to eat us and all and everything and he was freaking out Annie like beat him up then he like choked Annie uh, and Annie fainted and then they uh, he, in that time they like uh, attacked the wall and that's it that's what happened we now have the kind of like the full picture and another thing the whole thing with Kenny now what was that am I like looking at it correctly or like everything in this show i kind of like have to double check like am i seeing this right or is it something that i'm making a mistake like like that was kenny wasn't it yeah and um the girl uh, it was annie okay uh, she was brought out, brought up in an inn. Her mother worked there. She used to tell the stories about my father all the time. One look and I knew. And he says that well, ain't that touching? Want to hug from daddy? Put your hands up. Are you sh are you that sure I'm wrong? Yeah, I swear to my sister. Ask to tell me. It's too cruel, daddy. And any kind of and Kenny chases any and lit then it again breaks like doesn't see show us what happened after that we see Reiner and everyone And here Annie says something, I was crawling around the capital against that guy, I can't risk it again. Okay, there are a lot of questions I have, uh, especially in this section, there are, like the whole thing with Annie. If so, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm like taking it uh, as she said, Kenny was Annie's dad, then what does that make Levi? So, wait a minute, um, Kenny... Uh, sister's son is Levi and Kenny's daughter is Annie that means Kenny is daughter their cousins uh, that makes her uh, Levi's cousin doesn't it yeah like uh, brother mom's brother's daughter yeah cousin so okay I'm, I'm i'm saying one thing like um i'm not sure if like i did not see the ova of attack on titan i should probably check it out the uh, thing the ova that like featured annie i'm not sure if they said something about annie's background in that ova and i have no idea so i'm not even sure if they even said this like gave us this information that kenny was annie's dad this is the first time i'm like seeing this and i've not seen the ova so I'm really not sure if they already like uh, like said this information before. So yeah, um, and another thing like if I am wrong about anything, uh, please be sure to correct me because like this episode really like put out a lot of things that I am quite confused about. The first number one thing is the th whole thing about Annie and Kenny, and number two is the like. In the end, Eren. Like I'm, I'm sure we'll uh, like get the Eren thing later on. Like he's like the show will all like tell us. But the Kenny thing, I'm not sure if they're going to show us because Kenny is dead. So I think they uh, like showed us kind of like a backstory this uh, episode. I'm not sure they'll like continue the backstory later on or show us more about uh, Annie and Kenny interacting. So yeah, like I'm not sure about that. But uh, I'm sure like uh, the whole like at the end where like. I think that guy is Aaron. Uh, that like we saw that scene. Um, that will be like uh, revealed later on because like that is like they barely showed us a glimpse of it, and I'm sure we'll see more of him. Uh, 
uh, if that guy is Eren, uh, I think it is Eren because obviously like his eyes, his voice. When I was like, I, when I saw that guy sitting there, I, I didn't like really un like notice that much. But when he started talking, I thought like, where the hell have I heard this voice? Then I kind of realized that this is Eren's voice, isn't it? So yeah, but if I'm wrong, <laughs> please correct me down. Um, and if it, it, it is like going into spoilerish territory, uh, no need to correct me or no need to do anything. Uh, like, uh, yeah, like no spoilers. But if it is nothing spoilerish, uh, be sure to like correct me down in the comments. Anyways, so yeah, if that turns out to be Eren, a lot of more questions will like pop up. Like, why did he get here? Uh, like, how did he get here? And why is he here? Uh, what happened to his eyes? And why is he in a like faking his amnesia kind of as he said he said something about that didn't he yeah all of these things and okay another thing i wanted to discuss was like um reiner like uh, i've already like i've always uh, like saw this thing reiner was a bit um i don't know like too not serious but a bit too gung-ho about this whole becoming a warrior and all of this this bastard kind of cleared it out like why he is so like uh, i don't know like so enthusiastic about this whole thing like annie is not so enthusiastic she like i think she hates the whole thing and um she fears the whole thing uh, i'm not sure what uh, is up with berthold but uh, like berthold is also kind of like that but Reiner was like, uh, like in season not one, in season two, uh, when we did not know that Bar Reiner was uh, the traitor, um, uh, his a few of his like actions kind of made him as if like yeah he's very hyper about it, uh, and after we got to know that he is the traitor, his like actions, behavior, all these things kind of made him like a too hyperactive. So I did I always did not get why he like was like that, but. This episode kind of answered that question. The reason was because of his childhood. Like uh, the whole thing with his family, like his dad leaving him and uh, like his mom like being sad about that and him kind of making this resolution that yeah, I will uh, become a Marlian, ordinary, ordinary Marlian. Uh, my mom will also become one so I'll be able to like go to my dad and talk with him. But unfortunately after like Going there, his dad rejected him, even though he was a Marlin. And uh, one thing I was curious about, he was a lot scared looking at him, uh, and he said something about like they're going to get me and like uh, not leave me, uh, like uh, uh, like something like that. Like uh, I don't know what that was. Like uh, and he said something about that. Uh, he made a little kid a warrior. Like uh, just talking about his mom. Like, why did he make a brat a warrior, something like that, along these lines. And uh, that was a really, uh, like, odd type of behavior, I'm not sure why. And he seemed a little bit of scared, even. Like, said something like, don't come near me, and tried to, like, run away from that. Yeah. And I was not expecting that. I was expecting somehow, like, him saying stuff like, ah, uh, what happens even if you are a Marlian? Uh, like uh, I don't care or something like that but not this like I did not expect him becoming like scared and everything like that was unquestionable behavior I'm not sure if that uh, like like it has some kind of reason behind it who knows like each and everything in Attack on Titan has a reason behind it which I really like like uh, even like even if a pebble falls on your head you have to think that wh how, how did this pebble fall maybe there is a backstory behind this <laughs> like each and everything like has a reason an attack on titan which i really i don't know like i, I give like it's a hats off to the author like he like he takes each and everything and there's not a single thing that does not have a reason uh, so i don't know maybe this also has a reason anyways uh, what i was saying so yeah uh, reiner was uh, like like went to his dad and his dad even though he became a marlin rejected him so he became kind of like that yeah who needs dad like I my and my mom will be okay ourselves and we like I'll save the uh, uh, like I'll be a warrior I'll be a savior I'll help them and I will like uh, kill the devils and stuff like these that kind of gave him this kind of fire within him that was the reason okay 
a lot of things are being answered and explained and all of the behaviors behavioral patterns and how they like talked everything are kind of getting a more background more like it's becoming fleshed out and especially in like in reiner berthold and all annie's cases so yeah that was a interesting episode <laughs> especially at the end i'm not sure what that was but we'll probably get to know later on so yeah anyways guys so that was this episode um this was episode number three of attack on titan the final season so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say about uh this episode or anything in general and if i am wrong about something be sure to correct and correct me down but no spoilers so yeah uh, so yeah guys uh, i'll be back with new episode of attack on titan uh, next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day